Okay, welcome to part two of how I play season two. In this video, we're gonna expand on the control and modulation section of the system from here to here, basically. It's a stripped down version of the first setup that I had in the big system, but the thought process and method is the same. I mean, I'm muting gates instead of sounds with the happy nerding modules here. I'm saving presets on Verigate and using Lapsus OS to move many knobs from one place at the same time. The CV section in the system has half of the modules that were used in the big one, but not half of the functionality. I mean, I can still modulate stuff even without voltage block, quadrux or batumi. Uh, the Confundo Funkitus and Pulsar that had a very important role and played a big part in making the system work are now missing, but they're put to much better use in the big case that I normally use for production. So basically I have a left side and a right side of uh, the control section. If on the left side I choose what's playing, then on the right side I move whatever is playing. Okay, um, so Verigate is still doing what it usually does, which is to sequence the different voices and drum modules. Each of its channels is connected to a mute channel here in a configuration that gives me a good idea of what's going on. But more importantly, it gives me a hint on which direction I should take the music, which is crucial information in a live set. The sounds are basically sorted in the mute modules by frequency range, that means kick and bass are at the bottom, the bass is usually provided by the SY05 which is off camera to this side, then comes the LAP on lead and mid range duties. Then there's a clap and a BIA doing noisy percussion stuff. Then the usual uh, cymbal and ride sounds. This pair mute channel allows a uh, gate sequence to be sent to BIA's decay CV input, effectively serving as some kind of accent, like this. This is how I know where to take the arrangement. I keep a contrast by adding what's not there and muting what has been playing for a while. Uh, if I have a ride sound playing, which is too noisy, I can turn it down, but then I will know I'm missing something in the upper part of the spectrum, so I will turn on something else to make up for it. So it's like a juggling game, basically. These two modules were made for each other, the MD outputs four sequences that I generate randomly, 
I can press two buttons to generate a sequence or move this knob and record a specific uh, movement up or down um, and it will be recorded to these steps. This is why I left a 4HP blind panel here. And then I press the zero button to delete some of these steps um, to increase basically the dynamic range of the sequence. After that, the, each of these sequences go into these uh, sliders and that's how I control stuff. These four channels are divided, or I think about them as time domain and frequency domain, or harmonic content domain, where channel one controls the decay of the uh, SY05. Number two controls the decay time of the LIP through fader number one. Sometimes I connect the sequence to the plus input. So what happens is um, it will be directly sent to the decay of the LAP and I will have a manual offset if I need. Sequence number three controls the filter in LIP and also the width control in the SY05, which is basically a filter too. So let's hear it on the LIP. Channel number three is all about the BIA. It controls the filter frequency and the fold knob here. And the last one, I wanted it to be a high pass control on the kick like I had in the older system but they don't have a 2 HP filter so right now what it does is um, it moves the delay times of both of these DSP modules here uh, to create a different vibe <laughs>
at this stage I'm still uh, trying to optimize the system so things may change over time. Okay, that's it for this uh, part. On the next video we're gonna focus on the LIP into the Ujo voice, which is uh, basically my lead voice. And the SYO to its left, which does most of the time uh, like low percussion sounds, but also lead sounds. It, it replaces the LIP sometimes. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and happy patching.
Thank you.